Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Neil Austin. This is episode 23 of our Let's Play campaign. And it is time for us to say goodbye to this little thing here. It served as well in the early game. But um, time, the time has come. We are not going to make our end game white science in this uh, pattern. It is simply too small. We need to do bigger and better. And not just bigger, like a stupid amount bigger. Like It's going to be an absolute insane science build so the reason why i want to make well obviously i want to make this different because it's okay that was a bad move that one oops and can you just go in here then yeah you can and i'm gonna have to take oh oh no why did i do that and i'll just do that here and here i think that might be working yeah there we go back to deleting and let me just make sure that I delete it this way. All right. So the reason why is this one just that won't be skating up. So I want to make, and this is my entire goal for this series. I mentioned it once before, but I have not touched upon it since then. I want to make 30 signs per second of each of the signs, so that becomes one thir uh, 30 signs of the uh, of the white signs every second, and that's going to be an absolute disgusting amount. And that means we need to rebuild everything at a much different scale and that's going to be what we are going to start on today the first part of it will be actually we're going to make all of our science that we have here available to the outside uh, nope don't do that um but what i want to do is i want to get some warp some vessels yes and that one yeah, let's get some of those and let's also get some of the other ones too oh that one all right so here basically i'm going to local and global supply or <clears throat> interstellar supply and i want to make sure that they have warpers because we're going to need to be able to warp them out this is basically just a matter of of making sure that we don't waste the stuff we have here we have ten thousand here we have ten thousand here this one will be oh no 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 oh no 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 Oh no 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 that one. This is prov this is requesting local so it'll pull the stuff from the central tower in here and then it'll provide it out. That's the intention of it and I'll just set it up for the other ones as well. So we can uh, make sure that we have all of our signs available. Oops, let me just see if I can hit the ground. That one. So here I'm going to be requesting locally and providing uh, off planet. Here and that one and also make sure we have this so we have a lot of ground to cover so i can't really afford to spend too much time on this otherwise we'll just run out so i'm gonna just uh, set this up and then uh, we will be off to the other planets so i've been scouting around for a opportune location what i want for location is the most boring planet ever <laughs> and the one that doesn't have any rare resources and only just a few resources that we need so we can easily strip mine those and get a lot of room for us to build on this planet. So what have we chosen? We've chosen Gidi Prime. Gidi Prime, the home world of the Harkonnens. I don't, I love the fact that it's in here. I think it's Gidi Prime 2 I need to go to. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, uh, okay, did I just jump this distance? It's probably not great. I think this is the one. Oh, look how boring it is. So this planet, uh, do we have it like that? Yeah, we do. Oh, I'm flying around. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm in opening, right? I'm in orbit. As long as I'm open up, I'm fine. Look at that. It's only 2 million. I'm just seeing if I'm curving around. Yes, I am curving around. All right. <clears throat> 2 million iron, 2 million copper, 1.5 million silicon, some titanium, and lots of stone. No rare resources, no wind power. It's just a desolate little planet. It's perfect. Perfect for our needs. I'm going to go up here and see if we can find the North Pole. And let's hope this is the North Pole. Yeah, it's, of course it's not the North Pole. Why would it be? Uh, the one thing about this planet that's a bit weird is, let's see here, the orbital, the planet actual inclination is really weird. It's slanted almost directly, well, halfway towards the sun here. So that's really weird. If you look at this area, I mean, we do have some 28 million, 34 million, 14 million. It has good amounts, but nothing rare here except for a sulfuric acid ocean. Nothing particularly interesting. 
let's go this way all right and this is where oh, come on forward and this is where we planned our flag we've done that before we are going to do that one we're going to plant our hub buildings they are going to be out here and like that and all the way out and then one more right so we're going to build this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to set this up because we've seen that before i am also going to set up the mines for iron copper and silicon the rest i'll just pave over so we have a nice clean slate to work on i'm gonna jump pretty much forward here on these things because i want to focus on the science build the science build is what really matters in this build so let's uh let's come back to a slightly terraformed planet and start working from there welcome back and let's uh, just go through this one i love this hub and now it's been slightly different now we are using these globes the suns and i think it looks good it means that we can kind of more easily see what's going on up here maybe i could actually have oh hold on could i have shifted them a bit so that this one could go straight in i think that would actually look better anyway these ones are providing the majority of the power they are providing 300 and then i have about 29 additional and that comes from a solar belt so what i've done is i have made basically what is now my new pattern uh, I don't know if I'm always going to make the solar belt around here, but I think I need something for these. This is very important, and I think this is one of the things that last time I talked about, sort of the accumulators versus the uh, the portable suns, and yes, they're incredibly more compact. But if we look at it, these provide 40, uh, 75 megawatts of power, but one of the exchanges provides 45. Now, I'm not going to be bringing in, if you see which one is uh, actually bringing in, it's this one. So I'm not going to be bringing in like thousands upon thousands of these and I'll bring them in in batches of 100 and I've already set up to 500 which is way 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 more than I actually need. Let me get a few in my own inventory just because there. <clears throat> so but the accumulators I would bring those in by the thousands which is a full vessel. So shipping wise I don't really matter. It doesn't really matter that much and uh, warpers are incredibly cheap so doesn't I don't really feel that's a, that's an issue but I and I also have lots of these. So I, I think I'm going to use these, if nothing else, because they look, these look good. But I'm not sure they're better. Because you will burn through antimatter, although antimatter is free. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that this might, this is probably better. It should be better because it's the late game tech. I just really like the batteries. <laughs> so this belt is for distributing the graviton lenses so we can all warp from all locations. They're all just requesting things. And over here we have requested 500. Well, they're not coming in, but they will. They will hopefully get in here. We're going to need a lot of these matrix labs for what we need to do. So I've also hooked up all of the copper and iron and silicon, but nothing else than that. So you can see that this side of the planet is pretty damn busy and this side of the planet is pretty damn empty. Look at that. So we're going to go down here and start at this point. That's going to be where we want to start our build because we have a massive, massive build. I don't think you've seen a build this big. I mean, maybe you have, but it's going to be pretty big. So we are going to start by working on this meridian. We're going to leave this uh, here empty, but uh, we're going to start simply put getting something in on this line. We're going to start at the equator. There. So my intention is... <clears throat> I will have five requester locations. These five requester locations will be, let's, for the sake of argument, take the yellow science, this one. So I'll request diamonds and I'll request titanium crystals at this location. I'm not going to set it up, but uh, diamonds and titanium crystals and obviously also some warpers so we can get there. So the intention is that I'm going to bring from wherever in the world I'm going to be setting up a massive supply of diamonds, a massive supply of crystals, titanium crystals. I'll bring it in here and then I'm going to use it to make the yellow at this point and then put it into another, well, let's call it a box. Hey, it's, it's a, of course going to be a logistics station. We're going to remove this there so we get some more room. There we go. And I'm also going to pave the world and I'm going to suppress these because who cares? We're not going to start paving the world now, but we definitely want to pave the world. Oh, of course I go over the line. There. 
like that. Just getting a bit of pavement. The problem with me and pavement is that once I get started, it's really difficult for me to start to stop because I just need a bit more. Just need a bit more. All right, so I'm gonna make them like one, two, three between this one. If that one is yellow, then this one is red, and this one will be blue. So for the blue, we are going to request the mandated coils and the circuit boards. And for this one, we are going to request the hydrogen and the graphite. All right, so it makes sense. And I will can then get the next one, that one, and no, that's not correct. It has to be one, two, three, four full of the big tiles and one two three of the big tiles there good this will be i can't remember what this is for but we can see it here it is lots of good processors oh yeah we're gonna get 60 processors per second inbound yep that's what's happening and for this one it's gonna be the last one that's the green one and uh, that's the lenses and it is the quantum chips there so we will be requesting those so that i can out here build out there build big enough Oh, let's go out of the build mode so that's the plan and i am going to of course hook this up that means we need to build something what i want to do is i want to have it symmetric even though it's very different in terms of how how it's built so of course it's since this is on a 24 second cycle well technically only on a 12 second cycle because it's two every 24 seconds for the greens but that one's on a three second cycle how are we going to make this evenly well the thing is though, uh, I am going to take, I'm going to take this and that's going to come out here and somehow we're going to make it so that they input on the middle tile. Yeah, because we want a full belt and a full belt should be on the middle one. Right, so I'm going to just drag out a long one. Now the thing is, these are working on a three second cycle, so I need three of these. There we go. That will be one per second. That'll be two per second. All right, so. And, you know, it's actually probably going to be better if I make sure that I power here. Oops. That one. And then get in there. And this will be the other one. So, again, we're going to build... Come on, build these long belts. We love them long belts. And this is why it's so important to get the hub up and running for these things because we are gonna use so much and I'm gonna make it symmetric here. Yeah, and that one. And the green circuits. There. And that means we can the reason why I'm making two of these on the outside, it seems to be using more builds, but it'll fit better with the other other builds. Some of the other builds require two. For example, the red ones require two inputs, uh, or two inputs for the out, for one output, and that's not really gonna work if we put them in the middle. So this one is gonna be sort of the baseline, and then we have a full belt in the middle. Cool. All right. So that's gonna be that's gonna be that, right? And that means I will take copy. And you have, we have our new and improved. That's three, four, five. Yeah, you're gonna watch me go down here. You wanna see how much it is, six. And then we get our belts. Just to give you a sense of how big this is. And I've already forgotten how many I was counting to, but that doesn't matter. Ooh, we can count again, that's... Hope I have enough room on this planet. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and now we get down here. Thirteen. I can't place them until the fourteen, and the last one is there. Fifteen. And I can take these out. Right. So this seems to fit pretty well with me setting up the next one here. So 
what I'm going to do is, at this point, I am simply get, dragging it in here. This one will now be taking the blue, but I will also request the blue in here. Because if I request the blue, that means all the blue that's already been built at the home planet can go in here. And that means even though I'm not going to be making 60 per second, I'm going to make 2 per second, but I have a good buffer back home. So I'm going to bring it in and then gradually I'm going to see which ones run out first. So we'll have like a blue line, a red line, a yellow line, a purple line and a green line. And then I'll merge them in here. And once I've merged them in there, I'll be seeing, okay, the red one's running out. So let me go out and build the red one to 30 per second. And then I'll build it, go out, find the planets, make it a big scale, make a mega base there, bring it all back here. And then suddenly we have the red ones working at a bit at a better speed and at the point we can go back to our home planet tear down the red one because now we replaced the mediocre two three four per second with a 30 per second build and then we'll continue on with next and next next and next and next and that's going to be the end goal for this so what we're building now is the first real end game design that is definitely well i think also the solar sales is an end game design with 60 solar seconds sales per second so that is the intention let me just build some of this one for you and it's uh it's going to take a bit of time to build this, so let's uh, just uh, let's try and see if we can get it in here. Yeah, so it turns out it's um, <clears throat> it's not actually particularly <laughs> engaging to do this. Uh, I've done the blue and I've done the red now, but uh, since those are the ones we're going to start with, I think I'll just leave the other ones, these towers out here. So you can see that the, these towers will be six high, so because each tower will then produce one per second. And I think that's the best way of doing it, so you can kind of see that they grow taller and taller as you go along. But they... Um, yeah, they'll, they'll have to be done at another time because I want to get this episode out today. And I think you'll appreciate that and spending more time on this uh, since it's not going to do something we are actually going to do right now. Then I think that's okay. So we got these two and we can sort of see the other ones at the horizon. So what is it we need, now need to do? Now let's talk a, little, talk a bit about the next phase. The next phase is that if we sort of imagine all of this is running, either we will get things in into these towers coming in from the home planet or we will get them in when we have the real thing real deal out here come in at 30 per second inbound and uh, then it comes out here and then i get 30 of each of those and then that needs to go into a really difficult build because that's one two three four five six inbounds and one outbound that is just spaghetti city for anyone who is uh, <laughs> Who's, who's built it has probably done some spaghetti, but I'm not gonna do that. I refuse to do it. I did say something about the curvy belts, uh, the incriminated, and, and just let me clarify this. I have no problem with using these ones here to cut across because it's nice straight lines, but I, what I don't like is roller coaster belts. I think those, those are sloppy and yeah, they're a gateway drug to the dark side. So we're gonna avoid those and uh, do something awesome. Right, so what I want to do is I want to have six inbounds. What I want to do is, because that's going to look better, is I'm going to have... All right, first of all, this one is on a 15 second cycle. So if I build each tower 15 high, then I need 30 towers, right? Because I need to consume it at that rate. So 30 towers is three times... 30 towers is two times 15. Why would I even want anything else than that? It's kind of silly, isn't it? Yeah, 30 towers of 15 height each. That makes sense. So all I need is to get into one lane. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to look at the middle. The middle one is the yellow one. So let's uh, actually build that here. No, here. And then I'll get inbound on either side. 
This is kind of weird because I actually had another plan in intended, but it just doesn't make any sense, does it? Like, why would I not want these to be as high as they can be? Why would I want this flat? I want, don't want this flat. So I could also do, no, 30 towers. That could be three towers of 10. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 10 plus 10, because I can't really, yeah. 10 plus 10 plus 10. So I'm gonna build one another tower here, I guess. There. And another tower here. And I'll get some inbounds. This one, this one, we just uh, delimited. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do it. We want blue, red, yellow, purple, green, white. And that misses one thing inbound, which we'll be getting in here. This is gonna be the Antimatter, that's the last ingredient. That'll come in a bit different, but I want those six lines of glowing belts going out inside. So, I have an idea. We're gonna make a bus. <gasps> did you hear it correctly? Yes, you did. We're gonna make a bus, and the way I'm gonna do that is I am going to make a bus this way, because I'm gonna get the blue, and then need to branch into this location, this location, and that location. But I also need the green one coming from here, branch into this one, this one, and this one. So I'm gonna have to do something weird and strange, but there is a plan. Don't you fear. That one, and you're gonna be here, and you're gonna be here, and there, and there. Which also kind of, oh, it actually looks okay. Maybe some of this is not correct. Let's start by looking at the first one. So I'm gonna get this one in. Yes. And then the intention is that I can get these directly in because they're all going on the lower, lower line. Yep, they can go straight into this location. So this one will now go onwards to this direction, but it's also gonna go into here. So let's see, we have, oops, inbound, 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 and at the middle one. I think I'm gonna do this. Where's the closest this can go? It can go like that, right? And, from here. I think that's correct. And then I go bridge that up top. And then on the next one, I'll just try to get the red ones in or the first ones in just as easy as possible. Yeah. And that means I will take the red here that goes up top and then goes at the bottom directly in and the blue one if I build it right there where it likes to be then I can't pass it through it can't pass through there so I have to go just one off from where I'd like to go and blue comes in here blue goes there and then it as soon as you can branches into the right lane good and now the yellow one comes into this the yellow one will need to go this way as well which means I need the yellow one to be positioned again as close as it can that one and then there so that's the yellow and the yellow one this one goes also in all right so far so good yeah yeah, yeah. This, is, this is looking good and i'll do the same on the next one the last one actually now that's gonna be is that gonna be different because it's the last one i don't think so again we're going to take the red one because it's the middle one is the one that's allowed to be correct so we'll go from the red red and in here Blue one. Up top and go below. Yeah. 
and the next one will be the yellow which will sort of jump over I guess you jump over and then you go in there brilliant now we need to do the purple ones purple and green so the green one and purple one will go in on this side here and then of course we'll have the outbound as well so that's gonna be if the purple one uh, okay so if the rule has to be the same then it has to be the yellow one because that's the middle lane even though technically there's not really any third lane here but the middle lane will have to be the correct one so you go to that location and that location yeah. good and I'll get the checkpoint this can't be here so it has to be one off in and that's good and from here I'll simply do oh yeah that's not actually happening yeah all right and then the last one <laughs> does it does it look good I think it looks good yeah and we'll get the outbound as well that's the out and again we should take And the yellow one is going to be the accurate one, and this one will be one slighted one off. So, here. So, what we have now done is we have made a bus of f five lanes, and there's not a trace of spaghetti in this. This is brilliant. I love it. I love it. I hope you uh, love this solution as well. It's very, very, very clean. Well, it doesn't solve the problem we have because the problem we also have is the fact that we also need some uh, some what's it called some antimatter in here. So now if we have the five inbounds and one outbound, then we still need the antimatter. The way I want to do that is actually kind of the same way. I want to take it on this line coming in. Then I'm going to be dipping it in here. So the antimatter comes from here to there. And then it gets another antimatter, that one and that one. So it goes in and from this one in. Again, antimatter is not a valuable product, so we don't have to take it. It's just being transported in cardboard boxes, so you might want to be a bit careful when uh, dealing with it. That's one of the funny things that like you. You have antimatter and it's really important that they're going to be put into these particle containers except they come out on a belt on a belt in a box but that's fine what's the box made of i don't even want to know well actually i do want to know because it's a pretty magical material don't care i'm just making fun i don't i don't really have a problem with it just fyi don't have a problem with it but i like that there are some storage for it and there and could i actually have built the other one i don't know will this work no it'll be shifted a bit and i don't like that all right this is good so that's uh, how we do it we are going to set up just some inserters on these or sorters it's going to be inbound inbound in 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 and out and that one's in and that one's in and I'll do this as well. Oh, hello, autosave. Autosave is getting getting up there. Let's just say it like that. It's getting up there. This is one of the reasons why someone's been asking me, why, why not build like the biggest uh, star ever? And the answer is, well, I can't really. It's gonna just kill my save game size. And doing these recordings, I do have to take a lot of save games so that I can make a continuous uh, series for you. Good. Well, that one should be taken care of. Now, all I need to do is propagate this all the way down and then make them 15 high. So that's a bit of work in, in that.
Right, so how about that? So how about that? Have you ever seen a more absurd build of, <laughs> in this game, yet at least? So this will give us uh, 30 white science. So I haven't produced a single white science yet, but then I'm gonna go straight to building 30 of those at a second. All right, well, that's gonna be uh, the first part of what we're gonna do. First part, yeah, love it. Um, we're gonna find a meridian. We have that one right there. That's gonna be the closest one. And we're now going to take a single input here, right on the equator. That's where we're gonna get wrap all of this in. This will produce exactly 30 per second. So I want to make sure that I actually link it in here. And go in as a single belt. From here to here. I am so excited to see if it works. Wouldn't it be awful if there's just some trivial thing that I've forgotten? Oh, it would be awful indeed. But what are the odds of me forgetting something, right? That's uh, like heat pipes and such. Uh, never gonna happen. All right, so this one will be doing white science. <laughs> Not to be mistaken by the sugar cubes. What are the sugar cubes? So sugar cubes or white science? Not the same thing. Not the same thing. Now, the, I'm gonna put these in here, but I don't imagine actually ever bringing things in or out because we don't need this for anything else. Right, so at this point, I think that we want to hook this up because uh, we can uh, might as well get started on this, uh, building a big stockpile while waiting while we go out and build the next part, right? So we can get actually get this science operational. Or you know what? Maybe that is actually all we can. Let's uh, let's get fire this up. And uh, let me just think about how we do want to do this in the most efficient manner possible. So they're all ready to to go. I've set up here. Yeah, what do we want for this? We want here. Yeah, let's get it. I have already gotten some inbounds, so let's see if we get that here. Doesn't it get in? Nope. And local supply, that one. All right. And I will just go none of this, but local demand. So if you're kind of in doubt, like why do you, why do you request things in if you're supposed to build it here? Because I already have built something, and I want that something to get in here. Uh, so that I don't waste the stuff I have put on my own planet and therefore I request everything in here in vessels that are 100% full get it in here 10,000 of each will now be coming in and that will be spreading down these lines and that's going to be like a thing of beauty probably the most beautiful thing you can imagine in this game well, another thing about this is well <clears throat> You might think, why do you build it on such a dark planet? But oh, when you see these lines come in, you will understand why building it at the darkest spot possible in the glimmest part of the universe is a good idea. Please go away, son. All right, we got the first ones inbound. So they are coming in with some antimatter, which is the least interesting because it's just some black lines. And look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, the blue science coming in like streaming blue lines here. So of course it's gonna be with this kind of, oh man, look at that. Look at that. Good, we got the blue and the reds and now the yellow comes in. Oh, please, everything just work in the first try. Seems to work. And this is why you watch this channel. And now they are just piling it in starting to produce as much as possible it's going to take forever to actually saturate because they need to get all the way up into these towers before they actually move further down but you can see we have white science actually being produced right now that's amazing isn't it that is absolutely stunning just gonna sit here and wait for it to just just look at the marvel of it and i could do a lot of other things like change but this will give us 30 per second so i don't need to do anything else and it just absolutely works flawlessly sweet and even the yeah i mean if if this didn't work flawlessly it wouldn't work the fact that i also have the antimatter coming in these lines no spaghetti no curved belts anywhere just pure happiness i have 59 of these yep That's our science build. So what are we gonna do in the next one? We are actually going to start consuming it and we're gonna consume it at a reckless pace. That means we're gonna be expanding out here. And then once we've actually start consuming a stupid amount of uh, white science, 
then we will we'll be starting to look at which one runs out first and then we'll start looking at that one and that means going to new and exciting planets to set up some mega builds just look at that whoa they flew straight through i don't know what to say this looks so damn good i hope you are enjoying it i hope you i hope you like it right i hope you like it because uh this is this is pretty good pretty good all right, I will. Uh, I'll bid you all farewell. We can just do a little outro on this one. Just let it, let it run for a bit. And uh, yeah, so um, if you feel I've uh, deserved a like, hit the like button. And uh, if you have not subscribed, then uh, if you want more builds like this, then subscribe to the channel. I am doing all sorts of builds, and these. This is kind of my style: building big and uh, yeah, aesthetic. I think. So, and if you want to watch more, I'm also streaming on Twitch. That's Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at 8 p.m. Central European time. And if the last thing I want to mention is if you want to support the channel, then uh, Patreon is a great way to do that. There is a Patreon link in the description below, but of course, no obligation at all. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. I will see you guys in the next episode with lots and lots of white science that we then need to, uh, to start applying to some infinite upgrades.